everyone, my name is Yashin Priya and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be painting this scene and I'll be showing you how I do it with watercolors. Now, I have not done a scene like this, I think, on my channel um, as yet. I have done uh, scenes of rooms before, but I don't think it's been a video on my channel. So I'll be showing you how I do it and also uh, just a simple um, illustration um, using watercolors. Now I am uh, starting off already, I've had the sketch done and I'm just inking everything with a fine liner just to give everything an outline. This is going to be of a more illustrative piece than a very realistic piece. It's going to look more like a cartoony sort of look um, or more illustrative. So uh, that's why I'm not worried about having a strong um, outlines to all of it with the black uh, fine liner. I am using a 0.5 um, nib for this one uh, for all the line work. All the supplies I'm using will be listed in the description box below. Okay, so I'm starting off with a wash of uh, a light brown on the walls just to give it a sort of a beige-ish brown color just to uh, basically uh, let everything look um, like there is some color on it. I am going to darken that over a little later but I am um, just starting off with a light layer. With watercolors, I prefer to work light to dark. That way um, I can't have something that goes very dark, which I won't be able to lighten. So I prefer working a light to dark. Now I'm just uh, bearing in mind, um, I do have the page outlined with some washi tape. That's just so that I have uh, crisp lines um, around my image and I'm not gonna go out of those lines. So now I'm starting in and I'm using a round brush uh, for this entire uh, piece. I haven't changed brushes, I'm just using this one brush. And I'm now just using uh, some a brown, darker brown watercolor just to uh, get those shells and the bookcase uh, painted in. Now there I didn't realize that I was out of frame. Um, I just painted that little table with a base coat of some darker brown, the same brown that I used for the bookcase. So now I'm starting to add uh, some dark brown as well to the inside of the uh, bookcase because usually the bookcase is very dark on the inside and then you have the books and then obviously the outer uh, edges of the bookcase and the shelves. So you see I'm using a round brush so I'm able to keep a good control of my brush and my watercolors as well so I'm not getting any uh, bleeding through uh, going onto the books or anything like that because it's got a um, quite a sharp tip. There may be a slight, like there there was on a small area, a slight bit of a color going over, but I am going to paint over the books with color so you won't see much of that. So now I just added a bit of design elements to the um, frames of the uh, paintings and then I am now doing a wash of watercolor. Now there over there you saw um, the color spilled over because the uh, paint was wet on the area of the wall and then I tried to paint over with the color for the frame and or the base color for the frame and then it uh, bl blended in and bled through onto the wet area of the paint. So as you're painting, make sure to let it be completely dry before you start trying to edge. Um, otherwise, you're going to have this problem that I had because I still did not let it dry fully and I was trying to apply the color. But the good thing about having um, the like using water and if it does leak over or uh, blend into an area you don't want it, since it is wet, you can just either lift it with the same um, brush, use a clean brush and just lift off that excess uh, water or you could use um, some uh, paper towel, a clean paper towel and just dab off uh, that excess or even just um, move it with your finger and wipe it off with your finger. So you can do that as well. Now I just painted a base layer for the uh, little um, sofa that's there or little armchair and then I'm now um, just painting in the scenes of all the paintings. The one is just a little ocean scene with some mountains. Um, the second one in the middle is a pineapple and then I've got a uh, vase of flowers on the end. So yeah, there you see uh, the paint started spilling over the other, the brown started uh, blending into the uh, lighter areas. And then that's where I um, just had used the brush to lift up that excess uh, color. And you can see the blue looks fine without having any brown in it. So there I just added little details with the fine liner for that painting and then I'm now uh, painting in the vase of flowers. Now this is a very quick uh, painting, something easy and simple, it's not difficult. Um, it was just basically to get the perspective right and then just to place all the elements 
um, in the correct sizes relative to each other. And that was basically uh, the biggest challenge that was for this particular piece. But it wasn't a very difficult piece at all. I just wanted to create a painting um, or a room where you have the books because I love books and I do have a bookcase myself or a bookshelf myself in my studio. So I wanted to have a range of books uh, put onto this bookshelf, have a little armchair with a little table on side table, um, some paintings in the room and a little vase for decorations. And then obviously there's a little rug in the center. So I just wanted to create that uh, cozy, um, nice feeling of having a little nook for you to sit and read your books because that's what I like to do. So that's what I was trying to achieve with this piece or that's what was the inspiration was behind this piece. So now I just added some uh, words to the books. Um, I have words like journey, adventure, um, relax. Um, there's a couple of other ones. Then I've got life volume one and there's a life volume two on the top there. Smile. Um, what else? Happiness. And I think that on top is goals. Yes, that's goals. So I just had a couple of different words that I wrote on the books uh, as the titles of the books, which were just sort of such, uh, more of a positive um, wording, um, like I've got inspire as well, joy. So it's all um, words that can inspire you, like love, dreams. So you see, there's all um, a sort of different words. I just put them onto the books. Um, it may not be that clear in the video, but in um, the physical or the finished piece, you'll see the words more clearer. Um, yeah, the lighting was a bit of an issue for this one because I was painting a late in the afternoon to the evening and it was starting to get cloudy and um, it became overcast and it was gone a bit dark. So the lighting, I was using natural light to film this, so that's why the lighting is a bit off. I do apologize for that, but I just got so involved with the painting and I didn't even realize it was getting uh, darker. And um, these are one of those paintings that you get lost in when you just paint and paint and you don't realize where the time is going or anything like that around you. You're just lost in your painting process. So that is what happened with this one. But I wanted to share it with you because I think this is a cute a painting that maybe you can try and maybe it'll inspire you to create something else that you would like. Um, like I like drawing, painting, and then well, I like books a lot. So I wanted to bring that together with some art pieces on the wall and have a little nook for your reading and just a little cozy, cozy scene. So yeah, that's what my, my inspiration came for this one uh, because I do love books. So there I just added another layer of uh, color to the floor and I basically painted in matte as well, added some shadows to the um, armchair as well as some shadows around um, the furniture where they all are placed um, also on the wall next to the bookcase also use the hairdryer just to speed it up to speed up the drying time and um, yeah i didn't realize the hair dryer was blocking there sorry about that but yeah i'm just adding the shadows now to all the furniture on the floor and yeah that's it i think for this video so thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you uh, feel inspired to create something uh, from your imagination and something that you really will be proud of. And yeah, so I'll see you in the next one. Bye.